Okay. Uh, let's start awakening. Is it going to allow me to import my character? Oh shit, did I save after the fight with the... Oh, nice. Import from another module, yes. Duran! Perfect. So we stay with this... Uh, with this warden. Canonically, he did survive. Because we did the dark ritual with Morrigan. So I, have, I know about at least two children, I guess. I have one with that... That's a uh, noble hunter in Orzammar, and I have one child with Morrigan. We are Duran, a dwarf, noble, who's a warrior, this advanced thingies. Oh, okay. I see, we can, uh, we can choose the save we, uh, we select. Nah, I mean, I could do this, but I'm not gonna do that. We do this one. Most recent, we import him, and we do start Dragon Age Origins: The Awakening. I have no idea what this is. You have been named what? I mean, I don't remember. You have been named Warden Commander Ferelden. Now traveling to Vigil's Keep. That was the house of Arl Howe. With the death of the Archdemon, okay, the Blight was defeated. Oh, that's a different narrator. But the Darkspawn did not simply disappear. Most of the Horde scattered north from Denerim towards the coastlands. Okay. And there fractured into warring tribes. Ooh. That's a brood modern. I don't know what that is. The region fell into chaos as the Darkspawn emerged from hidden lairs to terrorize the countryside. As the new Warden Commander of Ferelden, it is your responsibility to rebuild the Order and deal with the lingering threat. You have come to Amaranthine to join the rest of the Grey Wardens at Vigil's Keep, once home to Arl Rendon Howe, but now property of the Order. Yep, it's been The lack of a proper welcoming party as you grow close, however, indicates that something is amiss. What's going on? Why are there no Wardens here to greet us? Because there's like only one left, and it's Alison. He's the king. Something is wrong. Quickly, Commander! Oh, he's gonna die, isn't he? Wait. Did I already... Do I always have this? Defense, mental resistance, physical resistance. Did I always have that helmet? I guess I did. Why do I have such a stupid bow with me? <laughs> Why did it select my bow? And I guess I did have that helmet. I guess that's one I'm gonna replace as soon as possible. Kaylin's gloves too. Wait, I lost... Uh, well, at least I have the spell word. Ward. Uh, we don't have the other ring. I don't remember what that was. Why didn't it equip it? Oh, because that's an amulet. I'm an idiot. Okay, who's this? Mhairi. Okay. Okay, Mhairi. Did I always have the taunts and disengage? Oh, I did. I just selected them. So I'll have four points to spend here. I'm gonna have to do that. But I don't think I can level up in combat, can I? No, I cannot. Well, that's easy enough. These guys are only level 13, so we should be able to easily deal with them. Oh! I thought I would kill them. Just sweep them. And a mountain mighty blow. Oh, they're not dead. Yeah, yeah, just calm down. Calm down. It's you. Yes. The hero of Ferelden. Yes, it's me. Oh, thank the Maker. What happened? How did this happen? I, I don't know. They came out of nowhere. All I heard was screams and people dying. I got out as fast as I could and ran into these. You need to help them. You need to do something. Okay. 
Are there any other wardens alive? What happened actually? Because sure, this was supposed to be like uh the new keep of the wardens, but there's only two wardens left in Ferelden. It's me and it's Alistair. And I guess we could recruit more. We killed the Yarch Demon, so we have fresh new blood. However, uh, maybe we got some reinforcements from somewhere else. Are there any one other ones alive? I think there was a mage right behind me. Oh. He might have been a warden, I don't know. Okay. I'll see if I can't find some help. There has to be a patrol on the road. We don't have a lot of time, Commander. Oh, no problem. Let's see. Nice sword work. You're not just a guard, are you? Oh, pardon me, Commander. I'd assumed proper introductions would be taken care of at the keep. My name is Myrie. I was Myrie. a knight in the King's service until I was recruited a month ago, but I haven't taken my joining yet. The Seneschal sent me to bring you back. I was not expecting this. Okay. Well... The Darkspawn did launch a sneak attack, and that's kind of unheard of. This isn't a blight. How could they be so organized? I don't I understand. Don't know. Maybe it's a mastermind leading them. Someone has to be. Other than an archdemon, you mean? Frightening thought. Okay, where are we exactly? This is Vigil's Keep, which once belonged to Arl Howe. Yes. Considering what he did to you and the rest of the Order, losing their lands is probably the least of his family's problems. Okay, and who's in command? Varel the Seneschal. He is the Keep Steward, I believe, working for the Wardens. Okay. Well, let's keep moving. Right. Let's teach these evil bastards a lesson. First of all, uh, we need to kind of level up. Now, she... Oh! Can we, like, see... On level 22, we get a specialization point. She's a champion. She could be a spirit warrior or a guardian. Wait, does that mean I also have a... S yes, I also have one. We don't have any... Yeah, we could just go for a champion. We could go for all of these. Make this easy. We can't take them. So let's see. It's a sweeping strike. Which does what exactly? First of all, let's put all of these modes of attack to the end. Good. This is fine. Ah, threaten. This is fine, I guess. Poison. I don't care about poison making, though. I'm not going to be making poisons. I'm going to be using them. So, let's see. Uh, we don't want this. We could... Uh, wait, this is for a time. What do we have here? I need to, I need to look up all of my new possible talents and abilities. Do we have new... Are there any new skills? Yes, there's rune crafting, vitality, and clarity. Permanent bonus to mana and stamina. Ah, shit, if I knew it, I would just not put points here. I would save my points for these. Creation of simple runes. I do want someone to have master rune crafting. Health bonus is probably good. And clarity is actually also pr pretty good. It's fine. This is fine. This is okay. I'm, I guess for my character, I'm gonna probably put a lot of points either in clarity or in vitality. Probably vitality to have a lot of health. Like, I don't know how much this gives. Oh yeah, possible talents. Let's see what we have. This is an activated one. This is also activated. No sustained abilities here. Okay, so we get second wind. It's free. Long years of training grant access to deep reserves of vigor. Instantly restoring nearly all of the warrior's stamina. That's very good. Peon Splight. The warrior lashes out with a powerful blow intended to eliminate the weakest position. A successful attack automatically kills a target of normal or lesser rank, inflicts a double critical hit against an elite target, or a regular critical hit against a boss. This is pretty good. It's kind of expensive, at 88 points. 
but it's pretty good. Grievous Insult. A vile epithet. Attracts the ire of all enemies nearby, drawing them away from their current targets and towards the warrior. I don't care about this. Massacre. Uh, a warrior spins in an arc of death, automatically killing nearby enemies of lower or lesser rank. And scoring a critical hit against any elite target, but inflicting normal damage against the boss. So, not lower or lesser rank. It's against a normal or lesser rank. Unless it's not gonna kill, like, lower guys. Ah, then this is probably not very good, is it? Okay, and what are the things we get here? Oh wait, this is a sustained one. Let's see. Sweeping strike, that's activated. A massive swing blows through a cone of enemies, inflicting a critical hit against the primary target and no more damage against others in the cone. Affected enemies are also knocked to the ground unless they pass a physical resistance check. So it's pretty, pretty much this thing. But in a cone. Okay, that's actually... okay. That's pretty nice. What's this? Two-handed impact. While in this mode, each blow from the character's heavy two-hander generates a small shockwave that damages other enemies near the target. This mode drains stamina constantly. That kinda sucks. No, it would be nice to have, like, uh, stamina potions. Onslaught. The target advances several times, sweeping the weapon in huge arcs that hit multiple enemies. Okay. Sure. And Reaving Storm. Well, this mode is active. Oh, this is a mode of attack, okay. The character turns continuously to attack surrounding enemies, slashing in wild arcs, but spending stamina with each hit. This mode can only be activated during combat. This is actually pretty good. So I think what I'm probably gonna want... ...is Peon Splight. Yeah, Peon Splite and these two. Yeah, this is probably okay. Don't care about the taunt. Okay. So, uh, I don't know what these do. Let's see the specializations. Spirit Warrior and a Guardian. Both give Constitution and both give some resistances. So the Spirit Warrior Employs magical abilities. They are not mages, though. Instead, they flirt with the inhabitants of the Fade, who agree to augment mortal abilities in exchange for a glimpse of a physical world. Naturally, the Chantry's Templars rarely acknowledge that distinction. Okay, so it's kind of... I could be a Spirit Warrior Templar. Okay. And a Guardian. Constitution and Nature Resistance. This would be nice, because it kind of stacks with my Nature Resistance I get from... Uh, from having uh, survival. And this is many warriors foolishly believe that okay, they can control the tide of a battle on their own, but the Guardian realizes that allies' survival is as important as an enemy's death. Guardians prefer to protect party members directly, but if necessary, they are prepared to make personal sacrifices in order to ensure that their companions live. I'm not really keen on any of these. I could do champion, to be honest. I'm gonna keep that. We do want Peon Splice because we can, like, double crit a elite character. And we don't want these two. So, um, second wind is nice. I'm gonna put it next to this. 200 impact I'm gonna put here. Maybe like here. Ah, shit. Maybe like here. Or like this. Oh, good. Because I'm probably gonna select Berserk before the other one. What's this? Sweeping Strike. Uh, well, these are against a single target. This is an area of effect thing. So I kind of probably want something like this. And the other one's like 
lots, lots of this is activated, but it should be like probably here. An onslaught is pretty good, so I'm just gonna put it like here. Next level, I'm gonna get onslaught. And I guess I'm gonna put it here as a uh, area of effect area. You know what? I'm gonna do this. Because this is area of effect more or less. This one is. This one is. This one is. This one's gonna be onslaught. Breathing so I'm gonna put here. And I could give her Templar or Berserker. Oh, ah, uh, hmm. I'm not sure if she's gonna be useful at all. She is a fighter warrior person. She doesn't have any s talents. Oh no, she can get five talents, okay. Is a, she's a shield and sword fighter. Let's see. Powerful physic allows the character to knock aside any enemies who are in the way. While this mode is active, the character is moving. Each knockback drains a small amount of stamina. Eh. Arapus. No attack gets past the shield completely. For a moderate duration, all damage is reduced by an amount proportional to our target's constitution modifier. For the character's constitution modifier. All work of the ages improves this one nicely. Air of Insolence. This is a sustained one. Character adopts an intimidating posture that continually draws the attention of nearby enemies, consuming stamina constantly. This is useless. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna do that. I think Carapace, together with the Bulwark, is kinda pretty good. And do Death Blow. And what does Champion do, actually? So, a Rally. Uh, a Rally and Motivate. They inspire nearby allies, giving them bonuses to attack and defense. While this mode is active, when they're coupled with Motivate, the attack bonus increases. But I think Ogren is a champ. No, wait. Ogren is a. gonna be a Templar uh, Berserker. But I think I'm gonna have Ogren as a. Uh, as a champion too. I'm not gonna have her. This is okay. Doesn't really matter what I give her. Oh, what's that? Some stealthy selfs. Where are they? Okay, I see some. There. We did just spend a lot of time on looking at the abilities, but that's, I think that's okay because we do want to. We do want to see what we're gonna go for. Oh, stamina potions! Nice. Okay, okay, I'm happy now. This means we are gonna make a lot of stamina potions, and we're not gonna care. We're not gonna care about our usage of it. It's the main gate, but there's a few things there too. First thing first, we also need a rogue. Quite... Quite uh, urgently. Ooh, I got heavy hitter. I kind of forgot about uh, changing this. I wanted to do a sweep. Whatever, it's fine. Let's bomb all this guy. And she killed him. Perfect. Just hope these are all unlocked. Anything there? This is just a gen lock. So the coating. Uh. 
more trouble. Yeah, there's a lot of trouble. Who's that? A shriek. Oh, there's also an ogre. They don't do any damage to me. Okay, so the massive ogre is just a massive ogre. What do we do if we pee on him? 400 damage? That's pretty nice. It's a double critical. I have no idea what that exact means exactly because if we do like a hundred damage on average with a hit, then a double critical would be quadrupled then? That's pretty strong. What's this? We have terrified merchant. Okay, I can't I can. Let's let's do a sweep. Oh, you know what? I kind of want to do this. What's this going to do? Uh... Oh, wait. I can attack my other guys. That's... That kind of sucks. No, I didn't attack. I think I didn't hit the other guy. Yeah, I guess the double critical is a quadrupling. That's why we did 400 damage against the ogre. Which means this is especially nice against... Wait, this is... Uh... Was... Was the guy an elite? I'm not really sure. Well, it is especially good against those uh, yellow herlock emissaries and stuff. More darkspawn, I see. More darkspawn, I see. Hello, herlocks. Just sweep them. Like their arms. Oh, he didn't die. What's she doing? I'll be at the front gate, sir. If you find others, send them to me. Okay, soldier. You do that. I'm gonna send people to you. I also want haste. I want my haste back. Wait, there's a wooden crate there. Oh, there's also some soldiers and people. Yes, I didn't hurt the soldier at all. So at the very least, I want a rogue to help me open crates and chests and stuff and steal. Do I want stealing? I don't think I want stealing though. To be honest. I want probably poison making, a little bit of it. I haven't been using any stealing on uh, Liliana, to be honest. But yeah, I want... Oh, hello! That's a big explosion. Do we have, like, stronger guys here? Oh no, that's an emissary. Fomo strike was useless. Stupid Genlock. It's surprising though, because for me it tells that uh, the chain lightning can hurt my allies and too, so if I cast it. As you desire. But I guess the enemies don't really have friendly fire. Okay, uh, I mean we're supposed to go that way, so let's go this way. And I wonder, maybe we're gonna be able to upgrade rooms. Uh, that guy's almost dead. Let's cast this. Yeah. Oh! Oh, son of a gun! We missed him because of this stupid thing. Okay. Okay, that was easy enough. And let's do a sweep here. Okay, this way we save this soldier. I'll come back when it's safe, sir. You're gonna come back when it's safe. Why? You should be fighting. You should be there 
in the place where it's not safe. Make villages safe. Oh, hello, Ballista. Hmm. All right. Is some silvers. I, I guess that's better. Oh yeah, I also should probably put the stamina drops like. Guess in the place of a smallest potion. And somehow there's stuff up there. We can probably enter from the other side. I'm sensing more dark spot. Let's just see this. That's ah shit. We need to be a rogue. Hey now. Uh. Sweep. Oh, we hit. We missed him. We get 75 experience points. Of one enemy, that's pretty nice. There's a wound there's a few wounded soldiers. Hello. Can we not heal you? As you desire. Is there anyone we could like give potions Make to? Could just kill me. Oh, oh, pain. Nah, they're just moaning. What's this? Storm chaser helm. But it has more defense, 10% electricity resistance, and 15 mental resistance. Yeah, I'm gonna just wear it. It's a casually a lot better helmet than the one we have. And it kind of fits our armor. That's okay. That's nice. But yeah, this is actually not the helmet I had. I had a more squarish helmet, not like a knightly helmet. So I don't know what happened with that one. Maybe that one was like from one of the DOCs. That's probably it. And that was probably from uh, one of the DOCs. And I couldn't really uh, bring it back the here. Keep has been overwhelmed. How did the Wardens not sense the Darkspawn coming? I don't understand it. Those were ninja Darkspawn. Okay, how many Wardens were there? Are there? Not many. A dozen, perhaps? There are other soldiers who came with them, however. Okay. For the Darkspawn to have ambushed the Keep so effectively, I didn't know they were capable of such a thing. Okay, well... I am gonna need your help here, though. I hear you, Commander. You can count on me. Good. Oh, she approved. I guess she would be upset if I was like patronizing or something with my answer. Like, if you don't want to be here, you can go. Stop. Oh, hello. There's some shrieks. I'm I don't remember if I said it already, but this seems to be like, from what I mem remember. Wait, I shouldn't have done that. I should have changed my target. And then use the sweeping strike. But I think, like, how long to beat lists the Awakening expansion at about uh, 12 hours? 13 hours? This is a locked door, okay. There's a lever. I think we need to find a key. And then come back here. Pull that lever to open that gate. Pretty sure I'm a genius with that leap of logic. Oh, what's this? A cutscene. Hello. Flamethrower guy. Hello. Uh, I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not broken up about them dying, to be perfectly honest. Biff there made the funniest gurgle when he went down. And who are you supposed to be? Wait. Oh, because those were Templars. Okay. He was talking about the Templars, not the Darkspawn. I'm stupid. Uh, not too fond of them, huh? Oh, I know, I know. Most people enjoy being kicked in the head to be woken up each morning. Me, I'm just so picky. I am Anders, at your service. Mage and wanted apostate. An apostate? At Vigil's Keep? You weren't here when we arrived. I'm sure I would have remembered such a lovely woman as yourself. 
We were just stopping here on our way back to the tower. Just a short rest, they said, and now they're dead. Such a shame. Okay. Uh... Oh, that was, that's a stupid question we can ask. You're not a Grey Warden, you're an apostate. He just told us. And these men were, men were Templars, huh? So they kept saying, although come to think of it, there's no real way to know for sure, is there? The Templars captured me and were taking me back, and then, you know, Darkspawn attacked. Could be a sign, yes? Maybe. Uh, well, I could use your help here, you know. Then you have it. Are you sure about this, Commander? I can't say I'm fond of these Darkspawn, even though I'm no Grey Warden. Let's deal with them now, and we can discuss what comes later. Later. Anders is a much more interesting character compared to, like, most of the people in the base game. But he's, like, could be an arcane warrior. I could make him that. Yeah, I don't have blood magic and I don't have shape shifting. What's a battle mage? It's magic and minor combat health regen. That's pretty nice. Some mages specialize in spells that permit them to engage in combat from afar. Battle mages, by contrast, prefer to wade into the fray alongside their blade wielding companions. Close enough to read the fear in their opponent's eyes. Their spells primarily concern personal preservation as well as control of the elements in their immediate surroundings. And the keeper? Magic and mental resistance. So both of them give magic. Every Dalish clan has a keeper, a wise mentor dedicated to preserving the elves' ancient lore. It is exceptionally uncommon for a keeper to teach anyone other than a fellow clan member about the unique Dalish understanding of nature and magic, which focuses on control of the roots beneath the earth. So this is like more of a crowd control thingy. Uh, which I'm not against. He's got a lot of willpower and a decent amount of magic. I guess I would go with Arcane Warrior Battle Mage type. He would be using a lot more uh, mana because of the fatigue. However, he's got a decent amount of willpower. And the Arcane Warrior together with Battle Mage is probably a better combination. And he's a Spirit Healer too, so that's that's pretty nice. I'm gonna hold off for of now. Okay, so I can make him the Rune Crafter. What did I give you? I didn't give you anything. She could be a Rune Crafter, but I would probably. It would probably be best to give her vitality and clarity. Yeah. Just vitality. Because those are NPC, those are just companions. I'm not really gonna micromanage their skills. So it's fine if we do it like this. Max out vitality, then max out clarity. This is okay. Wait, did I give her a specialization? Oh, it doesn't show it here, okay. It's fine. Oh, he needs to be level 24? That kinda sucks. I can put two points- oh, shit. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put two points here. Next level I'm going to put into runecrafting. Because he's level 23 right now. I don't know if he's going to get a skill point. Then. So yeah. Next level we put here. If we get both points. I'm going to put the second one into herbalism. And the, the next one he gets after that. Into master runecrafting. Pretty sure this is a good idea. Oh, Mage got two things here. So what do we have here? A passive ability. The Mage alters Arcane Shield to step partway into the Fade. 
adding a significant chance of resisting hostile spells or evading physical attacks while the spell is active, and a lesser chance of both when the spell is inactive. We want. Oh, so even if the arcane shield is inactive, he could just have a higher chance to evade stuff. Okay, elemental mastery. Increasing any elemental damage inflicted by other attacks while this spell is active. Oh, this is pretty good. Attunement. 52 magic, that's high. Mage has become more attuned to surrounding magical energies, gaining bonuses to willpower, magic, and mana regen. That's pretty good. Time Spiral. Mage, through great concentration, is able to alter perception of time, resetting the cooldowns on all spells. Eh, I'm not sure I want that. I do want Elemental Mastery and then just put a, a lot of stuff here. We also want Haste. What's this? Repulsion Field. Well, as long as the spell is active, waves of repulsive energy emanate from the mage. To every wave, nearby enemies are knocked back unless they pass a physical resistance check. Mana is consumed each time a creature is knocked back. Invigorate, that's personal. 100 upkeep, that's pretty expensive. Waves of invigorating energy bolster nearby allies, substantially reducing their fatigue, meaning that their spells or talents will cost less to activate while this spell is active. However, the caster's mana drains continuously. That sucks. I and mean, it's only for allies, not for himself, I guess. Arcane Field. While this spell is active, the mage radiates arcane energy every few seconds, emitting waves of projectiles that deal spirit damage to enemies within the field. Each projectile consumes a small amount of mana. Eh. A mystical negation. An aura of beneficial magic surrounds a mage while this spell is active. Every few seconds, the spell banishes any magical effects within the field that are created by a hostile creature. Each dispelled effect consumes a small magic amount of mana. I'm not really sure about that. I do want elemental mastery because that's going to improve damage from all of these things. I want something like this. Or maybe I'm going to go for Cleansing Aura for now. And none of his spell stuff was upgraded, so I guess that's why the mage got two more rows into the mage talents. Permanent bonus to damage from basic attacks. I'm pretty sure this is kind of good, to be honest. Let's not put that. Let's put this here. Because... Since this is a companion, I'm gonna micromanage them too much. It's probably best to give them this. And permanent bonus to spell power. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm probably gonna get this one next. I never actually get anything in for Morrigan or Win in these ones. And a permanent bonus to spell power seems pretty nice. Could we maybe not get the fireball for now? Since I'm not getting the fireball now, I'm pretty sure we should just get the blizzard for now. Now, let's get this. Because the fireball is a little bit more versatile. We have haste. We have weapons frosting and firing. We got cleansing aura. And we have elemental mastery. He's pretty strong right now. And he's got the talent points he's going to put into runecrafting next level. Okay. Uh, since I'm not going to micromanage him too much, I do want some of these. So, self, any, activate, I guess, flaming weapons. Put it up here. Self, any, activate... Elemental Mastery. So, any for now. Activate. Haste is important. Has the 90%. Self, any. 
activate uh, the cleansing aura, I guess. I don't think I'm gonna bother with the shield. Let's actually see what we have there. How much mana is he gonna have left after all of these? Not to watch. This would take 30. He's got 160. Yeah, this is really expensive. Uh, and this should be probably less than 50%. Uh, self. Mana or stamina level be below 25%. The mind blast, you know, it's just a loading potion. This is fine. Uh, this is enemy, I guess, like nearest visible. Just a winter's grasp. Yeah, this is pretty okay, I think. Uh, threaten? I guess threaten is fine for her. I think it's fine for her to be like this. Okay. What do we have here? No one. I mean, no one we can loot. 